Well, joining us for more on this, Fox News Sunday host and chief legal correspondent Shannon Bream. And Shannon, you really understand the dynamics of the court and the importance of the cre credibility of the institution. What does this failure mean for those dynamics? Well, even within the report itself, we learned a lot of important new information and concluding by the court itself for its own internal investigation that there were gaps in their security. Part of this, they say, was because of the pandemic. Remember, everything went remote. The court had to still keep operating, still have arguments. And so a lot of people were then able to work remotely. And what what really is key to the Supreme Court and the way they, they handle things, they do have an internal system there, their own IT department that does not connect to the outside world. There's a way for you know, sharing these documents internally. And some of that may have gotten compromised during this period of COVID. But interesting to me, too, that they say everybody who was asked to interview did it. They all signed sworn affidavits under penalty of perjury that they did not share the document with anybody who wasn't already working at the Supreme Court. Um, they also say that everybody who was asked turned over their personal cell phone and text information. None of that yielded anything. Mm. But an interesting nugget to me was that they said there were people under investigation who admitted they had told their spouses about the Dobbs decision, their partners about the Dobbs decision, including the vote count, well in advance of any of this being public. So there were gaps there. Everybody mm. wasn't playing by the rules, even though we don't have okay, a name to so, ultimately cross the line. Yeah, yeah, you raise a great point there. There were 97 employees who were interviewed over 126 formal interviews. Would it have been appropriate or maybe even necessary to interview the spouses of those who confessed mm. to that admission? Mm. And well, and I don't know that you could have done it. The way that the Supreme Court works and the way that they did this investigation was they kept it completely internal. So it was all voluntary. And they say everybody went along with them and was voluntary. Um, you know, listen, everybody signed that document saying even the ones who admitted, I told my spouse about it, that they never shared a copy with anybody outside. Mm. But also in the report, the Supreme Court said based on all of the technology, the IT, everything that we investigated forensically, there does not appear to have been a hack from outside. So it just leaves you wow. with the impression that this was an inside job. Shannon, who you got Sunday? We have got uh, Republican Congressman Fitzpatrick, Democrats, Congressman uh, Gottheimer. They say they're problem solvers caucus. Can they solve the debt ceiling, immigration, anything else? Are they too optimistic? <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, you can do it. We'll be watching. Shannon, we need see you. We'll see you. Bye. Thanks, <laughs> Shannon. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.